Quatermass and the Pit, the 1958, The Ghosts. In the builder's excavation at Kingsbridge, London, a fossil skull was found. This and other bone fragments are put under scientific examination. Dr. Matthew, Matthew Rooney, an eminent Canadian paleontologist, resistant Barbara Judd, attempts to reconstruction of the creature. A late like humanid, he pronounces it to be five million years old. But Rooney's work on the site is interrupted by the discovery of what appears to be an exploded bomb. When Captain Porter of the bomb disposal squad is mystified by the thing's appearance, Rooney goes impatiently to seek help from an old acquaintance, Professor Barnard Quatermass, is at the old war office, vainly resisting a plan to use his rocket route for military purposes. General Colonel James Breen, a guide missile, guided missile expert, takes over obscurely as his deputy. Obstantly as his deputy, but when Rooney, Rooney arises, his frenetic appeal, Quatermass well, deploys his false relationship to Liz Brain's aid. Rooney, where did you say the skull was from? Where exactly? Well, in the earth has been dug away two or three feet above its level. Its level, that's right, yes, it was there, here. He said, above? Why, what's wrong? Well, if this is above this thing, Rooney, tell me again. How long did you estimate the skull had been there? Something like five million years. Five million years? What are you trying to suggest? This thing's been here. Well, fill it. It's hardly corroded. It's not corroded at all, sir. Ah, oh, might be experimental ally. But it's metal, sir. I believe he's right. I may not, it may not be. There's something about his character. What are you doing? Be a bear. Be careful. No mark. It's hard on diamond. Hello. What have we got here? It looks like a horn of a sea mine. Watch what you're doing, sir. Let me look at that, Sergeant. It joins the surface of the thing quite smoothly. Please, sir, quite featureless. An elaborate sort of knob, that's all. A test of strikers and fuses. All me, by all means. Suppose you find, you find any, don't suppose you find anything. I think it was used to support some sort of external mechanism that was shed, shed, shed in flight. Oh, I don't, I shouldn't wonder if we find more of these, more of these. You think I ought to carry on, sir, for a moment, sir? Yes. Right, carry on, sergeant. I carry on, lads. Well, Green, why are you, why are you, are you talking over? I take over. Well, I can offer my advice. You can only refuse it from the principal expert. We're due at a rocket group in the morning. They, you, they can spare us for a day or two. There's a problem. I enjoy problems. Captain Porter. Yes, yeah, sir? I'd like to sit on this case. Be very, very relieved, sir. Good. Let your people know. Yes, sir. Just a minute. Have you seen the civil defence records for this area? I've got copies. Have you? Good man. Nothing fell on the streets but a few incendiaries. Well, records can be mistaken. Ask the people who live around here. It would save time. The sheep's empty. Street's empty. What's left of it? Sure, I thought I saw an early couple. I'll find out. You go with her. This isn't a game. Yes, sir. She knows that. Well, you mean per gases? Well, any gases, perhaps a V weapon, V, a V bomb, V2 weapon, bomb or flying rocket. Not either of those. The Germans cooked up some pretty nuggly things more than we ever knew about. Sir, sir, there's a place here. A kind of hole. Hurry up. Let's get out, get, he'll get us in trouble. Don't find this, I can't find these long woolies. You know, these clean ones. you put them down somewhere and, oh, 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 I've got to lock up. Well, quick then, hold that. Oh, for Pete's sake, getting you two activated, excavated. He's try, trying to drive wild horses. He had to have his long woolies. He had to, he may have to wear two pairs at once. It's cold. Come on, just a minute. Sorry, sir. It's you, they shouldn't be here. It's all right. I want to speak to them. You do? You haven't thought of it. Go ahead, then. You lived here some time? We have. We're rightful occupiers. We won't leave here for the buildings of bombs. We've got... Until we got to... You were... You were here during the war? Yes, and the other one, the first one. You're going to ask... I want to ask you about this bomb. Well, there's no one that knows about it. Well, there's no one... 
he that knows anything of it. There's nothing but a couple of them little things don't do hardly any damage. We've heard the thump unless a, it's been a small one. It wasn't small. What about the whole house next door? It looks like as if something hit it. No, it's just been let that let fell down. On the roof it's disagreed. The trouble we have of creeping damp, haven't we? How how long have you been like has it been like that? Donkey years ever since you tell me. Oh about twenty years I reckon, sir. People won't live in it. Why? Oh, some sort of tale about being haunted, haunted? Oh, not just a tale, quite commotion at a time. We have reporters here daily. We'd better be getting home. You want your supper, don't you? Oh thank you for your help. Oh yes, thanks. You better f- can you find it? Can't find anything there, sir. Only clay. It's hard. Beginning to loosen up, sir. Looks like some sort of hatch, you know, for servicing or fueling. Burst inwards when this thing fell out, fell and got ramped, full of earth. In that case, there should be a mechanism there. Fuel pumps and so on. Do you find them? I didn't remember anything. The old man seen her with the old woman round the bend. She's hardly telling me him a ghost story. Still, she was right about the scenarios. Stand back, Gibson. Oh, onto something. I'm not sure, sir. Just bring the lamp in, will you? I think we might be, uh, just might be a stone, sir. It's hard and rough. Here, let me have a look. It's one of them. Another one. Go gently with it. They're so fragile. It's another skull. Careful. Let me, let me, let me go. Yes. Yes, it's one. Let's do this, please. Barbara, get the things inside it. What's odd about that? It was here in the clay. When the thing fell, it got forced there by pressure. It was, it's almost out quick. Oh, magnificent beauty. We found nothing like this. It's almost intact here, Barbara. You take it for a moment. Intact? If you strike anything else, tell me at once. I'll take it. A pure chance. We, yeah, it wasn't smashed. It must have been forced in there. Todd Rooney. There's another one. There's another bit of fossil. I'll take it to him. Yeah, you're well, right. You're right. They can't say more. Now you're guessing, Kratomus. They found another piece. Dr. Barbara, would you? This proves everything. Look at the cranium. This past week, I've been accused of everything from gross ignorance to falsification. Rooney, one eminent colleague, went so far as to say, I, if I could scratch the bones or boil fowl, I'd produce a monster. Got to get all this mud away. There's, this is no freak, nothing freakish about it. Consistent but unknown species, remarkably preserved. Oh, isn't it? Far better than the first. How? Huh? What protected it? Well, obviously it was inside, inside, ins- the inside it. Good heavens. Well, it couldn't have been, of course, but not for very long, but just couldn't. Well, it must, that's some sort of bomb, Miss Jude. And that woman you question was so unreliable. She's chatting about a haunted house. Oh, which house? The end one. It must be straight above us. It certainly looks the park. Professor, you come, please. A colonel would like a word. You better pack everything up, if you will. Why, God, a counter. Yes, I, thought, I just thought I'd check. Listen to it. Where you? What's your reading? A low level, sir. Yeah. But that there is some um, concentrated round the end of the missile. Seems to be in the clay. Do you think the Germans were on a nuclear propulsion? On the nuclear propulsion, 1940? Clever fellows, the Huns. Um, great mess, he's ordering it out. Ordering this out. Clay's radioactive. Well, it seems very mild, but we must make sure. What? How about a lab test? All right. Colonel Potter, Captain Potter, get me a sample of the earth. There, there's, where's the sergeant working? Well, I'd better get packed up then. Get the new skull, staple away. Sh- right, shut it, Gibson. Let's get out of here. Are you there, sir? Good evening, officer. You're one of them working on the bomb, that's right. I thought I'd look around here, right? I thought I'd look round here, might help. None of this is a bomb, none of this is bomb damage, sir. Oh, I just told the, the, the young, young engineer's officer. Been empty since 1927, walking out. Some kind of ghost scale, wasn't it? That's right, sir. Nobody would live in it. So as how soft people can be with that, with what with the housing shortages and all. 
Did you, you live around here then? Just a few streets away, sir. I was only a nipper, but I remember all the fuss. Us kids used to run and touch the front door just as dares. There's all sorts of tales about noises being heard, bangs and thump, bumps, even things being seen. Well, now, you know, well, you know how it is once they start. Just look, just look, see here. It used to be the bad place, the old kitchen. Look at these scratches. What could be cause them, kids? It must be bold and then it must have been bolder than in your young day. Why shouldn't they be? They be. It's quiet now. Ah, oh, ah, oh, yourself. You yourself as a boy, I suppose, and never witnessed anything. I better go back to my duty, sir, a constable. That was, that old couple. Could you tell me where they have gone? The Charlotte, Charlotte Clots? Yes, I've got the address. Shh, what is it? I thought I heard. I thought I heard. I did hear. Oh, there's nothing. Let's go. Oh, that's a strange one. What did you see, Mrs. Gromy? Well, it's hard to say right out. I shall have to consider there's a sea journey here. No, no, how could you leave him? Ah, well, let's do the, let's do the is. Something, sometimes they go together. What's that? The disturb them all. I suppose it's better. I better. Good evening. Looking for Mr. and Mrs. Charlottecott. Oh, they're here. Look, I'm in. Okay, thank you. Good evening. My name is Cratermas, I'm a scientist, I'm concerned. There's bomb. Ah, oh, you fixed it? No, I'm afraid not. May I sit down? I suppose so. Well, want some tea? No. No, thank you. I really want to ask you about the house next door to yours. Ah, oh, uh, Mrs. Mr. Charlotte, do you know, ask me. You're just a bit, you know, getting on. Well, you remember the disturbances, yes. When did it first break out? Well, that was the worst year. General Strait, 1927, that's right. But they didn't just stop, you know. They were less and less gradual. What form did they take? I thought of all the, all you scientists were sceptics. Well, we're open minded, most of us are. Oh, we must, we try to be. It certainly ought to be. Did they, did you hear the sounds? Yes, dreadful sounds. People couldn't stop in the house with them. They go, they had to go terrified. There was a sort of trapping and knocking. Just like uh, some people waiting to come in. Only one, he was nobody there. In the, on the floors, it come and the walls. I could hear, it could hear, we could hear it. Make you feel queer sick. And things would move about all of the cells. It's rooms, nobody in them. In fact, chairs and tables and ornaments. Even the bed was moved about. They had the police in and parson even. But didn't do good. No good. I remember one night. Ursula coming in, rushing, come rushing in on us. People was called, people was called Ursha. Come rushing in on us, running like a maniac. They seen something. What have you seen? A figure. Oh, give me more tea. Well, I'm sorry if this is upsetting. It scratched, there's scratches on the kitchen wall. Have you seen them? Were they made by, they were, they made by children, children. Why are you asking all this upsetting her? He used to come day after day, the reporters. What ever had I heard? What I, what I seen? I got my pictures in all the papers. Did he, so did he. They didn't believe us, really. Mrs. Mason looks silly. Do you believe her? I want to find out the truth. I'm sure Mrs. Co- Coach Cot, of course it's true. If you fall, no fool. You must believe in the whole world of spirits. The future is there. His whole future. If we can just read it right. We well, thank you, Miss Charlotte. You're sceptic. Thank you for your help. I'm sorry for this to, to disturb you. It's that I let myself out. Good night. Come inside. Got good company. Company? Oh, it's Charlie. He's under lay. I just hope your colleague's quick with the, the, those radio activity tests. Come on. Please. Colonel Bree. Oh, yes. I'm sorry to say this. Quite a mess. But he's the sort of man I don't take care to at all. Good. Hmm. Well, I tell you, my rocket group has a, a been taken over. Well, he's the official receiver. He's a career militarist. The worst type. Old efficient, just biding time. And my colleague, have you sent, have you got, what have you got there? Just a nonsense thing. Doesn't really work. Oh, don't you, did you make it? Mm-hmm. 
Don't know you had a mechanical drink. I don't go, I don't go grubbing in the dirt and time, you know. Oh, it does, does it go, does me, it does me for a hobby, no, or vice. I like to fiddle with it. I look, I to you or use it when I had the time. Looks like a spell samer, a popular version. So far from it. Oh, said dear, I've been chasing for quite a while, connected with my work in a way, and study savage peoples, their beliefs and their customs. Why does it, what does it do? As a matter of fact, it doesn't do anything. Prince, really, that is. The prince of it well. You know, all business, catching electrical discharges. Your brain. I'm turning, trying to further, to focus in there. The optical centers interrupt subjective impressions and see what the subject sees. Mind's eye. I even got a name for it. Optic electropolygraph, good enough for the Royal Society. If only it could work, it would work. Well, then Brent boots me out of the road quick group. I'll come and s- help you develop it. I'm not laughing. To business, what are these questions for yours? Oh, yes, last night I, f- I was lay thinking for hours. They've been coughing that, c- then you need coughing in that case. Well, about it. Coincidence. Yes, it's a troubling thing. A breed of false theories here. Thank you. These man names are yours. You put their age up between three and five million years. Well, dating is very difficult. I say near five. How do you work it out? Condition of the soil? No, they're placed in a rudimentary line. Oh, we know that an ape like creatures older than these, others less old, both accurately dated. But you said this is a known species. It's thought occurring to you that it wasn't this and this earth, but put it, in, but, but put it out of your mind. You spent too much time in the rockets, crater mass. Now these humanized, these manates are new to us. They fit into the known scheme of things. You know, there's a line in ancestry as far as back as thirty million years. I believe a clear line of descent, right back, right down to ourselves. The other thing about them is the shape of the skull. I got it all charted, the points of similarity to the known species. That damn girl's put away them away somewhere. What you, Miss Jude? Yes. Said she wanted a couple of hours to have her hair done or something. Answer that, would you please? Rodney's Rodney, office. I want to speak to Professor of Quatermass speaking. Colonel Bree wants to talk to you. Right, it's Bree. Thank you, Sergeant. Hello, Quidmas. I, I'm, I'm at Hobbs Lane. I have had the work restarted here with mechanical excavators. I'm taking the level down right eight to ten feet all around the missile. It's a risk, but I thought I'd take it. Get all the thing, get out the thing properly. We're getting, we're getting on fine. I covered a lot more knobs than bumps. Seems to be harmless. So if you care to come over here, care to? Why didn't you let me know? Can't find you. You could. I left messages. Mechanical excavators will ruin everything. Have you had the results of Solitus? Yes. Negative. How well shot the report through. I've got it there here. There's a num- whole lot of irreverent stuff in it. But there's that regularity is harmless. What do you mean, irreverent? 
I mean, irreverent. Well, tell me what it says, man. Well, for instance, there's a lot about presence of beryllium, artificial isotopes of thrillium. Artificial isotopes? Radioactivity is man-made. Go on, Breen. There's a suggestion that presence of radio, nuclear radiator. Reactor. Reactor? The calculation is based on the half-lives. Such isotopes, given an appropriate age, is just absurd. Please submit further samples. Do you see? The own word is absurd. Never mind the absurdity. Tell me what it says. Damn you, Bree. Tell me what's written there. Oh, all right. I'll be along. Well, the apparent age of radioactivity, at radioactivity is five million years. There's still no sign of any mechanism. No, sir. These other pieces of bone. That's all they've been. Just a smooth mass of the, the body's somatic. No jets, nozzles, fuel pumps, pipes, I don't send it. You think it's a German V weapon. Well, what else could, is there, Colonel B? Why, why does it, why don't you send for me? Why don't you send for me? Then, need to be washed away in the clay. Well, I had to carry on. It's criminal. You got them, haven't you? Falling to bits because of exposure. There's precision of clay, so important. Pieces of high bone, ribs, vertebrae, all flung together. Is that rust? Yes, be careful. Traces a couple of salts. Every brain. I think, perhaps I've found them your mechanism. You see these green streaks of red? Suppose they are fuel pumps and nozzles. Jets corroded out of existence, huh? A few years. Not in a few years. Decaying as in radioactivity decayed. Why, well, Rissy, there's you're stuck, huh? You haven't got a clue. Well, have you? There, you're the experts, the quite a mess. It's quite a mess, it's big stuff. Rockets, so look, if he's in bewilderment, I can't, won't want to say ta-ta to this lot. Wait, where have you been? Here. Is quite a, is quite a mess, Professor quite a mess here? Quite a mess, quite a mess. We've got to get these into the hut. We've got some information, but inside, inside, get cut off. We've got to try and save these. Yeah, have a look, photocopies. Been through some research. It's of a newspaper files near year 1927. Kingsbridge Spook, May 8th, 1950. For the, uh, they are for newspaper files, year 1927. Kingsbridge Spook, May 18th, 1927. Figure that walked through the wall, bedroom wall. Why did you do this? Get your notebook. I thought you seemed curious the other night. By a night of terror by Mrs. Anne Chidlockcott. And there, there she is at, is 30 years old. No, I've had enough of that. We do well to make sense of known facts like the things out there without dragging the supernatural spooks. My night of terror, sorry. I tried to start how to help. It's all my fault. One complete firmer. 32 centimetres long. Diameter, 8 centimetres. Crowds around the house in Hobbs Lane. Come so dense the traffic was obscured. 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 Lorries were unable to patrol systems to proceed to work, being able to, being carried out nearby to the new tube extension. Tube extension, hello. What's, what's all the excitement? Well, you're still no ticking, right? It's solid. I can't get any way through. Can't find any way through. Let me see, Corporal. Let me, give me that lamp. Yes, sir. What's going on? We're up against a solid bulkhead. Well, take a look for yourself. Wash it down in the case. There's a sign of opening. Sergeant, water jets, you see, Quadimus, as this is to be counted for, is not likely to be solid. A silk compartment, it could be a number of things. A warhead, for one example, for a German V weapon, well, it's a little bit more than that likely now. Don't you think? We assume that's what it is. Take routine precautions and get out on with the cracking the nut. Quite a nut to fin, filling, it's filling up. Sergeant, being a pump, it was good, very good, sir. Come on, Ed, we'll get the pump. I swore there was another scapula. I see that they cleared it. Don't stand there looking, Gibson. Get a hose, Gibson. No, West, get inside with a hose. Go and make it beautiful, Westy. Now take this, Corporal. Right. Oh, get all this water out. You or you? There's no way in. Only some markings. Markings? Yes. All over the surface. Pretty. Come on, hurry up, laddie. Quadimus is in the pinnacle. Pinnacle? There's marks, one of the ancient cabalistic signs. They're used in black magic, Potter. Give me a hand, 
inside. Hold oh, on, sir. Slippery as glass rests. It was a kind of it was it was a kind of figure. It went through the wall.